Industrial space for lease. It's a sign of the times, a potentially a sign of times to come. I'm Christina Howard on Brown's Line, and signs like that could become a lot more common, particularly if Trump's talk on tariffs comes through, impacting tens of thousands of workers in the GTA, and in particular, those in the auto sector. It'll affect every town, I will argue, everywhere from Oshawa down to Windsor, uh, because the auto industry and the auto parts sector is completely concentrated uh, during that corridor. So it could have the impact of tens of thousands or even more jobs. So this has to get fixed. Trump is talking tough, threatening a 25% tariff on steel, and says he's looking at tariffs for cars, too. If he follows through, it'll end up costing us jobs and cash, but it'll cost Americans as well. First impact is American consumers pay more, and then American companies pay more. They're going to figure out how, uh, how are they going to do that? Are they going to absorb that tariff? Right now in steel and aluminum, that tariff might be as much as a quarter or a third of their margin. That's a tough decision to make. Uh, we're going to counter, and we're all just going to end up paying more. And so what it does is it makes North America less competitive from a price perspective. People on both sides of the border might buy less cars, will build less cars, and we're going to have jobs effects in both places. And auto industry analyst Dennis DeRoger says the impact would be so devastating to the U.S. that he can't believe Trump is serious. The negative impact across North America is so large, you almost has to be posturing. Uh, our initial analysis shows that a 25% tariffs on vehicles coming out of Canada, and I'm assuming it would be you, Mexico as well, would result in somewhere between four and 500,000 jobs lost across the auto industry in North America. Those are direct jobs, assembly jobs, parts jobs, with the bulk of them in the United States. And so, you know, it's, it's hard to believe that they could follow through with it. But Volpe says it's already forcing some companies to pull the brakes on expansion. Right now, if you're sitting on an investment decision and you're deciding between uh, which three countries, if you can wait, you wait. If you can't, you're probably picking the U.S. DeRoger says moving jobs to the states requires them to build capacity first. They shuttered a lot of plants in 2009 and 10, and massive investments would be needed. They would see nothing positive for at least three years and probably four or five years. And so, but the job loss impact would be immediate. Now, the hope is that this really is just posturing on the part of the U.S. president. And many analysts we spoke with said the best approach is to simply stay calm and hope that cooler heads prevail.